This project aligns the user content creation capabilities of mobile Web2 social software with a social constructivist pedagogy. Smartphones are used to create a bridge between the on and off campus learning contexts. A community of practice model is used to equip tertiary educators to use these tools in their teaching practice. The following examples illustrate the success of this approach. In my diploma programme we need more flexibility. We have a lot of students who want to come in at odd hours and who are working and so this technology stuff should offer my students a lot. However, I'm, a, I'm scared of it. I don't want to just dive in. I, in the past, have always just kind of waited back and hung back because I always think that there's going to be bugs in the system. And so it's my turn now to dive in and do it properly. Hey, so, okay, so um, what do I want to get out of this uh, community of practice? Um, I guess the first thing I'd say is freedom. Being kind of nomadic and being able to, to roam around uh, and, uh, and not to have to be um, in one place to communicate with students on a daily basis is really, really important. And um, uh, that is the primary reason for being involved in this and I'm really looking forward to, to seeing what happens. Okay. Communities of practice were established with small groups of tutors and a technology steward. It was a new course, but we decided that we would use a, uh, an actual project to generate learning outcomes and have quite a free kind of course structure. Now, it was a bit nerve-wracking to, uh, to go there first, but the students have taken to it really well. And so once I learned to use the technology, um, we, I then sort of uh, moved on to being able to uh, work with students so last year we trialled that and we brought those things together and um, had a go. Now Tom helped us along the way in this. We, um, we had some sessions with him and set up a Moodle site. Um, we blogged, we, um, I trialled the PDA and we're going to use that for all students this year. And we looked at electronic portfolios. Now we had fantastic success with these students. They did so well. We got two gold medals um, at LSE and a bronze. We got the People's Choice Award, we got the Writing Award, we got the Construction Award. I've never sat at a table with my students around and so piled up with awards. It's absolutely fantastic. And then really just thinking about what for us as designers and training young designers, what is real world learning? And real world learning involves as has been said this morning, working with lots of people at different levels, working with clients, working uh, in studio groups, and it's certainly in terms of design as we, uh, as we understand it, it's about team working, and team working blocks allow you to work in teams in a way that you can't work if you don't use them. We see the use of blogs and so on as really the ability to stay in, stay in touch and in a kind of, a, actually in a kind of multi-lane highway, rather than in a single kind of useful street. <laughs> So it's something that's allowed the staff to engage with the students at a level that doesn't happen in the studio and that doesn't happen if we are just sending them announcements and e e e emails and so on via the Blackboard and the interface. The next step was the integration of mobile technologies into the curriculum. Well here we are, this is the latest kit for the uh, Bachelor of Design students for their mobile trial. We've got the Nokia N95 handset uh, with a 1 gig memory card. Got a Bluetooth headset. Got a Bluetooth folding keyboard for better text entry. And they've got uh, a little plastic case and a screen protector to look after their devices. Very cool. <laughs> Um, I've been using the phone to check emails, send emails, send pictures, take pictures, take video of what I'm doing, upload a few things to Vox, use the GPS a lot as a map. I find it really good for checking emails, especially right when I wake up in the morning, can just roll over, pick up my phone, check my email, it's great. The phone into my laptop, use it as a modem. 
as, as a record keeping tool, these things that the way that they allow you to go back and see what you did last week, yeah. you know, they sort of, and you can constantly inform the decisions you're making based on what you've done in the past. Right. So whereas if you've got that in, in a notebook that sits in the corner of your room, you know, you forget that sort of stuff. Whereas this thing here, you look at it every day and you, you scroll down and then you remind yourself, oh, that's right, I worked that out last week. And so from that perspective, it, you know, and traditionally, when you write something down, you know, a notebook, the two will read it at the end of the project and they mark it. But in terms of this, you can write something down and two days of other students can comment on it immediately. Yeah, yeah. And then it affects your project in that way. So more real time sort of thing. I, I think there's two other things. I think one thing is that um, there are some students who um, don't necessarily present very well but write very well. There are some students who do the, do the opposite. Um, so it's about choice. I don't think it's about any one thing. I think it's about having a number of tools. It's like a tool to go in your toolbox. You know, it's a number of, and this is one of the tools that you can use. But if you've got like an internet capable mobile phone, you can get applications like Shouzu and Got mine with me, so you know I'll take a picture, and I can do that right now. Real living into it. Yeah, man. So basically, I'll, I'll shoot something. Okay. The application will load it up here when it decides to go so quickly. You know, while it's in that, I just go to the box. So it's, bas it's just basically like a visual diary online. Hi, uh, I just got home from uni. I'm too tired to type the blog, so I just recorded it. And Good morning, this is Stephen Kewish doing my NPC vlog from Queenstown. Alright, it's the first night in the camper. Just woken up to this. Look at that. Gorgeous. We're still in Queenstown. I have some coffee and put my eyes in and we'll be heading back uh, heading up the mountain. But that is just gorgeous. Students are using uh, Web2 technologies on uh, all three levels of our undergrad program. Uh, our second and third years are using Nokia N95s um, and video blogging, um, uploading material, photographs, um, and also uh, typing, um, recording evaluative material, and uh, that's going pretty well. And what we are seeing uh, in terms of benefit is that students are um, interacting with, uh, say, um, external um, agencies, would be them subcontractors or be them um, other designers, working on projects outside the studio, but keeping us informed of what they're doing and allowing and allowing us to comment on what they're doing uh, in almost real time um, scenario. So. From our perspective, or from my perspective as a staff member, that's very interesting because it also means I don't have to be in the studio. It means that I can be in another environment and I can, using the right technologies or the right programs, I can keep track of what the students are actually doing and reply. Um, which is very useful if, for example, they're in a, um, a situation where they're making something and they're in, they're in, a, they're in a, a workshop which might not be um, on the Unitech uh, campus they can um, keep in touch with me and I can make comments about what they're actually doing uh, and steer them in a different direction if, uh, if need be. That's one potential benefit. Another benefit is it allows other people who aren't in the studio uh, and who aren't me, or who aren't indeed the um, immediate staff members teaching the program to interact with the, uh, with the students and to put a different perspective on it. Student feedback on the use of mobile Web2 technologies in their courses has been very positive. Students have integrated the use of the mobile technologies into their learning and into their daily routine. The integration of mobile Web2 technologies into various courses at Unitech is expanding.